in you. I'm there. <laughs> I found my, my, my center, yes. my zen. I'm there. Well, now to an inspiring story out of London. In 2007, a young woman's life was forever changed after an equestrian riding accident. That accident actually left her paralyzed, but she perseveres and actually has tackled one of the most daunting tasks. She completed a marathon, believe it or not. ABC's Nick Schifrin has this incredibly inspirational story. For five years, Claire Lomas hasn't been able to walk, hasn't been able to feel her legs, but that hasn't stopped her. She was once a professional show rider, but in 2007, a freak accident paralyzed her from the chest down. Until January, she was in a wheelchair, but then she started walking thanks to a $75,000 robotic suit. It's amazing after five years of sitting down to be um, back on my feet and it's fully weight bearing and um, I can walk in it as well. She could only take 30 steps a day, but that didn't stop her either. She set out to walk 55,000 steps. Claire started the London Marathon with 35,000 runners. Long after the winners finished, she was still at it, walking a mile and a half every day. And 16 days later, Claire finished, supported by thousands of fans. It's a moment I'm gonna treasure for the rest of my life. And yet, this isn't the happiest day of her life. This race isn't even just about her. I've got um, a little girl who's won on Friday, uh, Maisie. Yes, Claire got married and gave birth to her daughter after her accident. We're having a bit of a competition, see who can walk first, and we're about level at the moment. Claire has always loved completing difficult tasks. The last two weeks are a reminder that she still can. Before my accident, I'd always had a lot of challenges. I'm that type of person, so... You know, it doesn't change who you are when you have a spinal injury and you still want to push yourself. That's the lesson she hopes to teach other accident victims. Perhaps to teach all of us. Nick Schifrin, ABC News, London. Wow, she raised about $130,000 for spinal research and another partici uh, participant in the marathon raised more than a million dollars for suicide prevention uh, after she collapsed and died mid-race. That that became oh, her cause goodness. posthumously. So, it's remarkable. Bravo. No, th that kind of commitment Bravo. is beyond words, so not more to say than that. This is ABC's World News Now, informing insomniacs for two decades.